Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and today we're reading Streams in the Desert for August 29th. Carrying His Own Cross, John 19:17. The Changed Cross is a poem that tells of a wary woman who thought that the cross she must bear surely was heavier than those of other people, so she wished she could choose another person's instead. When she went to sleep, she dreamed she was taken to a place where there were many different crosses from which to choose. There were various shapes and sizes, but the most beautiful one was covered with jewels and gold. This I could wear with comfort, she said. So she picked it up, but her weak body staggered beneath its weight. The jewels and gold were beautiful, yet they were much too heavy for her to carry. The next cross she noticed was quite lovely, with beautiful flowers entwined around its sculptured form. Surely this was the one for her. She lifted it, but beneath the flowers were large thorns that pierced and tore her skin. Finally, she came to a plain cross without jewels or any carvings, and with only a few words of love inscribed on it. When she picked it up, it proved to be better than all the rest, and the easiest to carry. And as she looked at it, she noticed it was bathed in a radiance that fell from heaven. Then she recognized it as her own old cross. She had found it once again, and it was the best of all, and the lightest for her. You see, God knows best what cross we need to bear, and we never know how heavy someone else's cross may be. We envy someone who is rich, with a cross of gold adorned with jewels, but we do not know how heavy it is. We look at someone whose life seems so easy and who carries a cross covered with flowers, yet if we could actually test all the crosses we think are lighter than ours, we would never find one better suited for us than our own. Glimpses Through Life's Windows If you, with impatience, give up your cross, you will not find it in this world again nor in another but here and here alone, is given for you to suffer for God's sake. In the next world we may more perfectly love him and serve him, praise him, grow nearer and nearer to him with delight. But then we will not any more be called to suffer, which is our assignment here. Can you not suffer then one hour or two, if he should call you from your cross today, saying, It is finished, that hard cross of yours, from which you pray for deliverance? Do you not think that some emotion of regret would overcome you? You would say, So soon? Let me go back and suffer yet a while, more patiently. I have not yet praised God. So whenever it comes, that summons we all look for, it will seem soon too soon. Let us take heed in life that God may now be glorified in us. Sermon in a Hospital by Ugo Bassi Thank you for listening, and God bless you.